Hello, this is Rich with WorkshopAddict.com and this is tutorial number eight for SketchUp. Today we're going to talk a little bit about layers and scenes and uh, how you would use those in a drawing. Uh, they make things a lot easier to navigate and uh, um, keep track of uh, things as far as uh, general drawing if you can keep stuff on layers. Um, as the drawing gets more complex, uh, it'll really become a necessity. I've been uh, doing as-built drawings on a house I built uh, three years ago. I originally drew it in AutoCAD 2D and uh, decided to uh, redraw the house as-built and do it this time in SketchUp using uh, uh, 3D. So let's go ahead and, and uh, open that up. And this is the house. I'll back up a little bit. We'll zoom around. You can see that the house is uh, pretty much framed in. Um, we have, uh, I've got foam on the outside of the house. I did that before I put siding on. I've got shingles on part of it here. Um, a few started doing uh, some sliders and got the skylight in uh, installed but uh, uh, I've done a little bit on the inside but not not a uh, tremendous amount kind of been jumping around a little bit I really need to get uh, get the thing dried in uh, in the digital world which uh, would mean the rest of the siding and and uh, shingles and windows in and then uh, get back inside and work on the trim but I've got a little bit of everything done here which will be helpful um, you know to show you guys uh, the difference between uh, layers and uh, and uh, scenes I just turned on our layers box here and I'm also going to turn on the uh, scenes we'll drag this a little bit bigger these are the various scenes that I've created for uh, for this particular project and these are the layers. First of all, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close these uh, boxes or at least minimize it. That's the easiest thing to do. If you just click the title bar on the top, you'll notice we still have a scenes menu and you can move that around wherever you want it. If you had a second monitor, you could move it off the screen. Uh, or you could leave it up here in this blank area, which is probably a good thing to do on a uh, on a uh, single monitor setup. So I have my drawing. I'm going to back out here a little bit, and you'll notice that uh, I have a list of layers here. Uh, layer zero is uh, just a default layer that uh, comes with a default SketchUp drawing. And I have drywall equipment. Uh, equipment goes along with a radio room I have in my house that uh, I've been working on. Floor sheeting uh, for mica, foundation slab, um, framing, grass, junk. Uh, junk is just something I use to keep um, miscellaneous stuff in. And uh, lighting, um, that's kind of important. Um, I've been rendering the drawing using SU Podium, and I'll put all my lights on one air, layer so they're easier to easier to find later. And uh, we'll probably cover that in uh, future lessons. But so I've got all these different uh, different layers on there, which uh, makes it easier to keep track of stuff. But it also makes it easier to draw. Uh, it, as an example, if I needed to do some work on my trusses, I would go in here. And first of all, I'd probably switch to my truss layer. That's by clicking this box right here. Um, the round um, deal to the left of the uh, uh, description, layer description, is uh, whatever the current layer is. The check box over here um, shows whether it's visible or not. Currently, as you can see, we have everything set to uh, to visible. 
But if I wanted to work on my trusses, I'd probably go to my truss layer, set that as the layer in case I drew anything um, new on that layer, it would be added to the truss layer. I can edit anything that's already, already on the truss layer and it would stay on the truss layer so if I was just going to edit something I really wouldn't need to uh, need to do that. Um, let's go in and we're going to shut off our shingles. See we no longer have shingles. I'm going to shut off uh, windows and doors. That got rid of our skylight up there. Um, I've got one window door down here that uh, is obviously on the wrong, uh, wrong layer. And, uh, you know, actually, I'm going to get rid of that. I need to do some work on that door anyhow, so that's gone. So now, if we get rid of our roof sheeting, we now have um, we now have our trusses and got a few rafters in there as well. So we can, uh, it just makes it a lot easier to to navigate. Um, we're going to shut uh, shut the drywall off. You can see I've got some drywall going in there. Now we've uh, got rid of that and let's get rid of the wall foam and uh, wall sheeting. So now we're getting down to basically just a framed house. You'll notice there uh, um, you notice there's some other stuff in there like I've been working on this this one uh, room, I've got some carpet. I'm redoing a uh, custom desk in there, so I've been piddling around with that one room. So I've got quite a bit of detail in there. But I mean, I can go all the way through and uh, and shut uh, different things off. For Micah, that's for the desk in the uh, uh, in the office. And I get rid of framing and grass, lighting, particle board, which is also for the desk, plumbing, uh, railing, um, siding. And I keep going here and I keep getting rid of stuff. Trim. You'll notice I won't be able to shut the truss off. I'll try so you can see what's uh, going on here and it gives me a message saying you cannot hide the uh, current layer so you will not uh, be able to shut the one off that you're uh, currently working on. Foundation and slab and now we just have the uh, have the uh, uh, truss package. So that that's how uh, layers work. Uh, you'll be able to shut stuff off you really don't need to mess with. Um, you know, if you wanted to make some edits uh, uh, to the trim in your house, you could shut everything off and end up with the trim and just a whole lot easier to uh, to navigate. Now, scenes are kind of unique. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that and uh, open up the scenes. Scenes are basically different camera views. And in my case, uh, you'll notice um, I've got tabbed scenes across here. Once I have them created, I normally don't uh, don't keep this panel open unless it's on a second monitor. But I wanted to show you how it works. But uh, but a scene would be a view from a certain camera location. But it also uh, works well because it remembers what layers you had visible during that scene. If you went in and you hid, uh, you know, I can go uh, hide a wall along with all the studs and drywall and everything so I can get a better view or work on something. I can go hide all that, but it remembers all that. So it's not like the, the wall is permanently hidden. It's just hidden in that, in that one scene. To go ahead and close this and I'm going to jump through some scenes which includes some hidden stuff to uh, show you how that works. So if we go to front view we have a uh, front view of the house and uh, upper stairs 
I was doing some work on the railing in my uh, in my house. Tried to get all this steel railing. It's got stainless steel cable, which I haven't drawn in yet. But trying to get that all done. So I created a scene so I could always jump back to that to that one view um, easily. I have one called Stair Construction that uh, that I've since drew. Um, drew a wall in so it's kind of in the way um, rear view master bedroom fireplace um, the reason I drawn that is I was trying to get all this uh, structure in place as you can see I have a tremendous amount of wood in this area that is key to these beams up here I have a beam that uh, uh, support rafters to the back and trusses to the front in the master bedroom as well as in the living room. I have one called Tough Angle which was driving me a little crazy. Um, it was a uh, complex uh, angle that uh, I've got a vaulted ceiling in the living room and then this is the front wall along the bedroom and it comes across and because the bedroom and the front foyer is vaulted this top plate of these uh, this wall is at a slight angle and then this wall here is 45 degrees off that wall not to mention it goes uphill um, to complete the uh, the uh, the vault in the living room so I just labeled it tough angle and it would allow me to jump back to that uh, that location um, all the time. You know, I, you know, one of the problems with uh, navigating around when your drawing gets busy, you know, you can be going along, and next thing you know, you're in a, another room or end up down another floor, and it, you know, a lot of times it's just easy to click the scene and jump back. So, not only you know if I wanted to do a presentation with different scenes I could set up you know front and side and rear you know all the obvious scenes but I can also set up ones that uh, I create a scene takes me back to that same location with all the layers turned on that I wanted all the things hid hidden that uh, that I need to it jumps back to that same look every time while I'm working on it and it's just as easy to uh, to delete when you're done. I mean, it doesn't get rid of anything in the drawing. It just deletes that one scene. Now, one of the things that you want to remember when you're doing a scene, if you change something, like say for instance, I wanted to go in here and this piece of sheetrock, I wanted to hide it. Um, except I must have hit something behind it. There we go. I got rid of it. The uh, tabs up here, if you right click on them, you can update. Same thing with, if I turn that uh, scene window back on, um, update scene, I click on that, it'll ask me um, all the things that I want to I wanna update. Um, I normally just leave it at its default, so I click Update. And now, you'll notice, let's jump out to the front of the house. If we want to go back to that tough angle scene, it takes us back in there at the point where we updated it. Notice that, uh, that uh, sheetrock is gone, and uh, it uh, it remembers that. Uh, here's a scene more when I was working on the, the stairs. My stairs, as you can see, are actually fairly complex. Um, I custom built the railing. It uh, TIG welded everything. The stairs are open and they're wrapped on four sides with slate, um, cherry woodwork. So. I really needed a scene to always jump back there so I could work on that, you know, because I'd get off somewhere where I didn't need to be or trying to look, you know, I might be around uh, from the uh, back 
Uh, trying to take a look. See I'm clear off inside a wall here somewhere. All right, I can see a little bit of the railing there. Uh, click on dining room, spins me right around. So if you're working on something, you can cre create two or three scenes for it. Makes it easier to navigate around. And when you get done, it's just a uh, just a matter of uh, uh, getting rid of the scene. Entry tile. This is where I was working on uh, tile and starting to do some of the uh, some of the baseboard. Living room. Um, this happened to be a little little project I was working on. Uh, we're getting ready to put uh, home theater in this room, so uh, put our TV on the wall and started drawing some in-wall speakers, which I've since decided against. But um, that's uh, what living room was for. Now Shack One and Shack Two, I play around with uh, radio equipment, and this worked kind of well. My radio room is behind this wall uh, but the room's really not that big it's 13 by 14 or something like that and I was doing a lot of custom desk work in there with equipment and stuff and you'll see that in a minute and rendering it out to photo realistic uh, images which uh, uh, you may have seen on the uh, workshop forum and uh, the room is real small. It's just too, really too small to navigate around in if you've got to spin around and do stuff. And there's a few tricks that I can uh, show you that, uh, that would help with that. But what I'm getting at here is if I click Shack, I'm going to back up here so you can see what happened. Notice I went in and I hid these, uh, these studs from the outside wall of the house clear over to this wall of the uh, radio room. I hid those and I hid both pieces of sheetrock on the front um, wall of the living room as well as the inside of the uh, radio room. And it allows me to stand back here without uh, without getting on the wall. Uh, so that that works really well. So I just created a view because I mean if you look at the living room this is basically the same view. If I wanted to come up here and go through this wall, which always takes forever in SketchUp when you're going through something, um, I can only get, let's see, that far away from the uh, desk. If I back up, I got a little further back there, I'm in the wall. So I really can't see anything. So with this this uh, scene, I've deleted that wall, so I can actually stand out in the living room and look in. So that's one of the advantages of uh, scenes, and that uh, that works uh, extremely well. If you're using the free version of uh, SketchUp, uh, that would also work well for dimensioning because you can hide things um, like dimensions of another view. You could hide them and just update your uh, update your scene. So that's basically the difference between uh, scenes and layers. And if your drawing is going to get complex, like mine, you know, with uh, different things in it, uh, you want to be able to shut that stuff off. If you don't need it, like shut off equipment, uh, different things like that. As I said, I've got. Uh, my desk is going to be built out of uh, Formica, so I can shut the the uh, Formica off, and I can shut trim off, and I can uh, I had a layer for particle board, shut that off, so I can shut off all the various things that make that up and and work on other things. So, anyhow, that's uh, pretty much it.